We started out pretty cloudy out there, but it's starting to clear out for us. Starting to see some blue skies as that sun is slowly starting to set which is going to be nice because we'll see temperatures slowly cooling off. 82 right now here in downtown San Angelo, so 83 for most in the area. And then seeing some mid-80s, a few a little bit warmer. We saw out towards Mason and Junction, 88 and 87 for them. Menard at 86, so a nice mid-80s for today. Tonight, though, we're going to be cooling off quite nicely. We'll still have a breeze from the north, so it's going to get to the mid-60s, 64 here. Some will be seeing some low 60s because with clear skies, we'll get rid of all of the heat that we see throughout the day. But then we're going to copy and paste it and put it again for tomorrow with 87 for our highs. A few clouds for us, but those, again, will clear out for the evening, and we'll get back down to some of those low 60s. We are watching, of course, to see if we have anything that's going to be moving into the Gulf because Sally is pretty slow moving. So Category 1 is going to be making landfall into tonight and moving into Alabama and Georgia and out towards South Carolina. There were five active named storms. We're now down to four. We had Renee earlier, then we have Hurricane uh, Pauletta, who's still out in the Atlantic, and then two other ones still very far out into the Atlantic. One is Teddy. He's looking to stay out there, but the one we're going to watch is Vicky. She is still off the coast by quite a bit from Africa, but it's making a straight line towards the Caribbean. It could start to change once it gets to the warmer waters over by the Caribbean and, of course, into the United States. So we'll see if we get any of those rain chances, but those are uh, several days, almost a few weeks out for us. But in between there, we're going to have a very quiet weather pattern for us. We're staying in the mid-80s for the next couple of days with low 60s as we go into tonight. Now, what we're going to be watching is the upper atmosphere. You can kind of see a little bit of that ridge giving some uplift. So with a combination of that and the moisture, we could see some late afternoon showers, mostly on Thursday and staying in the eastern part of the Concho Valley. Then that clears out and gives us a nice break coming in on our weekend. So right now, this is looking at five. We're seeing those showers stay in the eastern part of the Concho Valley, Junction, Mason, Brady, and even up towards Coleman. But a lot of the western parts are staying dry. Then that clears out for our evening. Going to take its time though. Not everyone's going to be seeing them. They're only going to be some light showers, not widespread showers we saw last week. Then again, Thursday, late afternoon, staying close towards I 10 junction, could see some get to Sonora as well. And then even into Friday, one or two lingering along I 10. So not a big rain chance, but still at least some that we could see off to the distance if you're not going to be seeing those on your Thursday. Temperatures though for everybody going to be sitting in the mid 80s. We're seeing actually cooler evenings coming back in into the low 60s. Going to be seeing some upper 50s starting Friday night and into Saturday, 58. So plenty of sunshine and clear skies will help with some cooler evenings. Definitely going to be thinking about that for your Friday night. But we do have those rain chances that are going to be coming in on Thursday while we sit with normal mid 80s and low 60s overnight.